and my stomach is gonna burst right through my, <laughs> my dress because Whatever. I'm so excited for this. We are here to prepare a beautiful breakfast treat that combines basically two of our very favorite things, cinnamon rolls and French toast. When yes. I say we, I mostly mean our good friend, celebrity chef, Ronnie Wu. I'm so excited. I don't think I've been surrounded by so many beautiful women oh, since my family reunion. Oh, like, I'm like, I feel like I'm like in the presence of gorgeousness. Oh, you can stay forever, my friend. Well, I will. I just might. Larissa, Orly, Pagey, yeah. dig in. I'm telling you. We will. It's so, oh my gosh, it's so good. I feel like I could cry right now. I know. And not just because we're emotional. Please yeah. cry. We're we'll just all cry. Tears of joy and chatter. Truthfully, matter. Ronnie, this oh is like God. a big fall hug. Yes, it is. Tell me how you came up with this idea. Well, one morning I came up with this idea because I wanted cinnamon rolls and French toast, but I was too lazy to make both of them okay. and wait for cinnamon rolls to rise. And so I decided just to combine the two and this is what my little hybrid baby was. Wait, it's... I just... Yes. <laughs> I'm a genius. Oh, this is the best thing I'm ever. waiting for my Nobel ever. Prize, but whatever. And it's I will cool. tell you, as the seasons change, the reason I say a big fall hug is I feel like when we get into fall and into winter, Eating food like this doesn't make me feel bad in the slightest bit. No, the extra layer on your body is a hug. Warm. It's what you're supposed yeah, to be Yeah, it's a doing. constant hug all year right. long. So we start with the batter. What do we do? All doing? right, so we have some beaten eggs here. We're going to add some half and half. Okay. And this can actually be made in advance. And if you want to just stick it all in a blender because you're really lazy, you don't want to whisk it, you have a bad okay. elbow, whatever. Bad so put elbow. It in a right? <laughs> yeah, you know those bad elbows that we have. <laughs> <laughs> we have cinnamon, we have some vanilla extract, some salt, and some melted butter. Okay. And then we're just going to give that a whisk. And when Debbie, you Say, when you, do you have a bad elbow? I have a really bad elbow. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> when you say make weak. this ahead of time, you can just make this and put it in the fridge? Yeah, make it, put it in the fridge, and okay. then let it come to room temp just for like 15, 20 minutes, because that butter is going to harden in the fridge, and then oh, you want right. to whisk it up again. Okay. And then while you're doing that, I'll make okay. the paste. And again, the paste can be done in advance along with assembling the French toast itself. So what exactly is that yeah. paste? So this paste is butter, cinnamon, and some brown sugar. Mm -hmm. oh. Really simple, but again, the components of a cinnamon roll. It's wow. It's amazing. Thank you. And and the I bread didn't we're make using. That, the culinary <laughs> team did. I always say, I always give them credit because they do a good job. Amazing. Okay. Well, they bring your recipes to life, though. <laughs> they do. They definitely do. Okay, so we have some brioche here. Is it important to use brioche? You can use. I, I like brioche because I just think it's a soft, nice, hearty bread, but okay. it's still kind of light. When I say light, I mean that. The, you know, I mean, I use that word lightly. <laughs> but you can use whatever bread you have on, on hand. If you want to use like whole wheat, whole wheat bread, white bread, whatever. Sure you to have. make it healthier. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> you to, yeah. to lie to yourself. Okay. Then we're just gonna like put this on top. And again, so you can just make this in advance. It's Little like a sandwich. delicious sandwich, right? Oh my goodness. Okay. So then we just dip it in there. Oh. Really get your, you can get your hands dirty. Right? Would you like me to do it? My elbows are oh, bad. All right, I'm sorry. That's <laughs> so now, if you were to make this ahead of time, you would not dip it ahead of no, time. No, you want though. to keep them separate because okay. then the bread will just fall apart if you leave it overnight. Okay. Yep. And so do we put any butter in here or anything? No, nope, because just... there's already butter in there. It's a okay. nonstick pan. Just make sure the heat's on medium, medium low. We want to get that. You know, the first side Sizzle. tends to burn, so you don't want to do that. Okay. okay? And how so, long would you cook it? Four to five minutes on each side, just until the eggs are all cooked through, because you don't want to eat raw eggs in this case. Correct. If you want to go the lazy route, pop all of them into a dish, and then bake it at 375 for 30 to 40 minutes until it's oh. thoroughly cooked. Oh, wow. Because that fills your house with, like, nice mm. aromas. But and I then... like the crunch that it mm -hmm. has. Would it have that exactly. if you did it? Uh, you could broil it at the okay. end and then get that crunch on top. That's but nice. And again, you can make this for a dessert if you want to. Uh, yeah. Yes. Like a nice, like... And it becomes mm -hmm. like a bread pudding then. Exactly. Oh, yeah, but a really delicious one. the rest of the day, we're going to have so much energy. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> yeah, you guys are gonna have, you know, a lot this of energy like, and then this crash. Is amazing. <laughs> okay, so but then we flip it. Oh my god. We flip gosh, it so and excited. then we get this delicious, beautiful. I know your nieces yes. love this. My okay. nieces love this. I make this for them all the time and they go crazy. Your nieces must love when you come over because they, you cook for them. I cook for them all the time. Oh my God, they're gonna kill me. Can like, we be your nieces? Yeah. Because you can come cook for us anytime. Yes, you guys can be, I would love to have you guys okay. all the time. We're coming to These are my family. nieces. Yeah. Modern family. Right. So me. now this icing. So this is basically the icing that goes on top of a cinnamon roll. Correct, exactly. So it's cream cheese, butter, and then we have some um, vanilla in there for that warmth, and we add a little bit of half and half, and then we just mix it up. It's a little hard to mix at first, but then it turns into oh. beautiful, beautiful icing. Quality chicken. <laughs> right. right. oh. She's just making sure. Making, making sure, sure for all of us. And then you give it a little drizzle. Wow. 
I'm sure this is this was made by angels. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Well, thank you. I oh yeah, it did come from heaven. You t you have yes. to taste this, ladies. <laughs> now oh, I oh, oh yeah, sure. They've been eating it. So yep. they know. Um, now you put all your recipes on your YouTube channel, correct? I don't actually, but what? I, you should. <laughs> you should, especially <laughs> this one. I am officially launching my YouTube channel this fall. So Congratulations! Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm really excited about. It. I feel, I feel like I see all these kids making like millions of dollars opening presents and toys, and I'm like, I gotta get in on that money. I have dogs to feed. Yes. Dog name? college is expensive. What, you what, will, what will the channel name me? It will just be called Ronnie Woo. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Just Google Ronnie Woo. Uh -huh. yeah. It should be called Ronnie Woo Woo. <laughs> 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 Maybe it uses that every time. It I never will. gets old. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Thank you. Isn't that just like delicious? Oh my gosh. Thank it you. It really Thank is like you. a big hug. Mm. Better yes, than when I make it. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Ronnie Woo Woo, Ronnie, you did it. You definitely did it. my new name. Yes, and make sure to get this recipe because you definitely don't want to miss it on HallmarkChannel.com.